Sturcher, aside from being fun to say, returns a pointer to the first occurrence of the character you're looking for. This is set up for using Sturcher, a string hello, a character L, and setting up a pointer to a character for the return value. Then you do return val equals, call Sturcher, and pass in the string hello and the character L. The definition I gave you at the start said Sturcher returns a pointer to a character though, right? How did I declare the string hello in the first place? That's right, it's also a pointer to a character. So really it's more helpful to think of Sturcher's return value as a substring starting at the first occurrence of the character you're looking for and then going to the end of the string. That's why Sturcher ends up returning the string hello. An important thing to know, Sturcher's return value isn't its own unique string. Just think of it conceptually. It returns a pointer to the location of the character you're looking for, so they're the same two zones, so to speak, in memory. If you found this video helpful so far, I would appreciate it if you hit the like button. One final point to bring up, what does Sturcher return if the character isn't found? Say for example you're looking for the character P. Obviously there's no P in hello, but we have to return a location. What's the absence of any location? Null. When the character isn't found, null is returned. Stirrurcher, aside from being very fun to say, returns a pointer to the last occurrence of the character you're looking for. This is set up for using Stirrurcher, a string hello, a character L, and setting up a pointer to a character for the return value. Then you do return val equals Stirrurcher and pass in the string hello and the character L. The definition I gave you at the start said Stirrurcher returns a pointer to a character though, right? How did I declare the string hello in the first place? That's right, it's also a pointer to a character. So really, it's more helpful to think of Stirrurcher's return value as the substring starting at the last occurrence of the character you're looking for, and then going to the end of the string. That's why Stirrurcher ends up returning the string low. An important thing to know, Stirrurcher's return value isn't its own unique string. Just think of it conceptually, it returns a pointer to the location of the character you're looking for. So they're the same two zones, so to speak, in memory. If you found this video helpful so far, I would appreciate it if you hit the like button. One final point to bring up, what does Sturrurcher return if the character isn't found? Say for example you're looking for the character P. Obviously there's no P in hello, but we have to return a location. What's the absence of any location? Null. When the character isn't found, null is returned. Like and subscribe to learn more.